to Sunny's Be Honest channel. Today is all about the Sephora clearance sale and the star of the day is the new Smashbox Prime Water. Yes, we're gonna use this today. We're not gonna use my everyday primer. We're gonna try only the Smashbox primer, the water primer. Now, I have to say this, I did prep my face for it, put on a new pore refiner that I bought from Sephora. It was on clearance. Because uh, my pores, right here in my T-zone, is a bit enlarged, so I purchased this from Sephora. And this is a serum, a pores refined uh, serum. Now, I was kind of confused, how do I use this? It comes just like this. Regular price, cannot see, but they mark it down. This, this was a tremendous markdown, and I may go back to get me some more. They marked it down to $7. You can see that. It comes with an additional padded sponge. And I was like, what is this for? But what do you do? You pull the top off, and it looks just like this. And what you want to do is take this and apply it across your T-zone. Go across your forehead, come down your nose, and your chin area. But I went a step further and placed it around the sides of my nose, on the top of my lip area, my cupid's bone, and then right here on my chin area. I allow that to absorb into my skin. There was some tingling sensation, but um, overall it, it feels pretty good now. It has calmed down. So this is a pore refining serum that I purchased for $7 that was on clearance. So check out your Sephora. They may have some products, some facial products that we need, ladies, especially when you get older. We need, we need to stay on top of things when it comes to our skin. Okay, so the only two things I've placed on my skin thus far is this Acne Fighting Moisturizer. It's a magnifying moisturizer. And it says at the bottom, it clears blemishes, not moisture. Acne treatment. They mark this down to, wait a minute now, I want to get it right, $9. It was on clearance, I got it for $9. I figured I could try it for $9. Two other products, additionally to the Smashbox primer that I purchased, is this Super Serum. It's loaded for Age Defy Serum. So when you get a little bit older, you're going to have to find products that's going to work for your skin to keep it looking refreshed and young. This is what I bought. It has all those things that I just show you inside of this one product. So they marked this down to $11. I have not placed this. I placed this on my skin the other night. I used that. So that's $11. Another thing for people who have like the acne scar, because as I said once before, I'm acne prone and my, my skin tends to break out. But now that I find myself getting older is breaking around, breaking out around my chin area. Sometimes I have a habit of picking. I know I should not do that, but I do it. So I bought this Ultimate Brightening Serum. Large size bottle. That's really large for... And they marked that down to $15. Let me go back and show you how it looks on the inside. I love items that have pumps like this. That's enough for your entire face. So that's the Brightening Serum. Let me show you how this acne serum is looking. It comes in a tube like this. That's a 1.69 ounce ounce of this product. And it comes with a pump tube. Very handy. You don't have to worry about placing your hand inside of any jars contaminating your product. Pump. One pump is all you need. So you won't overdo it. And I used to be one of those who thought if I put more on, it's going to work faster. That's not how it works. Now on to my makeup. As we stated, the start of the show is the Smashbox Prime Water. Now that I have allowed all the other products to absorb into my skin, the two products, I'm going to take my Smashbox Prime Water. Why well, I'm shaking it up? Face it towards my face. Smoother application. You don't have to look all over the place where where's this, that, and the other. You line it up according to what you're going to place on your face first. If it's going to be your foundation, next your eyebrows, your eyeshadow, and so on and so on. Okay, let's get started. We're going to take a squeeze of this, number 24. Place it inside of my bowl. That's it. The next 
just feel like I want to apply. I'm going to move this out the way. And that's why I have this black border up here. Once I do something, I like to move it out the way. Next color we're going to apply is this number 23. A tab of that. And it's called Ginger. There we go. So now we have to take those two colors and we're going to marinate them together to get the perfect shade for my face. No, my, my lips looking a little dry. We're going to work with that. Okay, what do you use to mix your two together? I use a brush. It don't even matter. Take that. We're just going to marinate those two colors together. Just like that. But you want it to be blended. I ain't raising the product. Uh, yeah, put that right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go inside of this that I've made up. Start on one side. You can only do one side at a time. This will give you a better application, a flawless application. Take your time. Take your time. I'm working on these frown lines, but I got so many kids, they keep me frowning, okay? If you have kids, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm going to work that back into your hairline. Take your time with it. If you feel as though you apply too much, take your puff puff and you're going to go ahead and blot some of that. And that's going to take off anything extra that you don't want on your face. Now, even with applying foundation, it's not going to be perfect. You want the canvas. You want your face to look perfect at the end. So sometimes you, you may hit and miss in places. That's okay because there are other products that you're going to apply. So that's all I want to do with that. So the next thing I want to work on would be my brows. So I have my... I will be using this new Wet n Wild Mocha. I think that's what it's called. This one is new. This one. And this is number 603A. I want to outline my brows with this on this look. Lightly go into your brows. Do the shape of your brows. Take your time with it. Leave that there. Not a whole lot. Now I want to go on the top and do this, create the same point. You have to be very, very light with that. Okay, I have this little funny dip right here, so I want to go ahead and try to fill that in a little bit. And make your tail. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the right eye. So that's all I'm going to do with that. Take my brush. Well, no. I'm going to take a brow gel that we created and fill that in and drag it out. Now, if you don't want to make this brow gel, you don't have to. You can just fill the remaining parts. Uh, you can just fill the remaining part of your eyebrows with your pencil. This stuff come in handy. These are my $1. Go buy Sephora and get you some sample Anastasia brow gel. Mix, marinate the two together. And that's what you get, baby. You saving money and looking fabulous at the same damn time. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to come back at the end and apply some more of this once it dry. Now, the next thing we're going to do is take a little bit of our LA Pro Concealer. And I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to use this small little angle brush. Squeeze a little bit of my product to the surface. And get the precise amount that I need. Because I want that point. You're going to gently go under the eyes. I'm going to outline. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. And then I'm going to take whatever product is left over. And drag it down. I'm going to drag it down all over my mobile lid. Looking crack cray right, girl. I know. Sometimes I will use this little blending brush to blend it out. 
Now that becomes my primer or my base for my shadow. I like the look of concealing both top and bottom and I will use the same concealer, LA Pro Concealer. You don't have to do this because when I finish with it, you're not going to be able to tell. Do you see that? I promise you, when I finish, you're not going to even be able to tell I did this part. Take it around. And now you want to blend it up or out. It takes a while. When you're doing makeup, especially if you're a beginner, baby, you ain't gonna wake up like this. It takes time. And there you have it. This is what I like to do. Now that I have used my LA Pro Concealer as my primer for my shadow to stay on, we're gonna go inside of this This is my Black Radiant Press Powder that I use as my contour as well as my base um, shadow. This is my starting shadow for to apply any shadow. Light color, dark color, does not matter. You want to take your brush, go into it three times, one, two, three, and you're going to place this all over your mobile lid. In the crease, crease, mobile lid. We're not going to go up here. We're just going to stay in the crease. Okay, so yeah, I can't find my crease. Open your eyes just like this. Take that version coin that. Open your eyes. That's your crease. That's your crease. One, two, three. Do the same thing. Mobile lid. And crease. Why did you do that? The reason I put down a darker shade because it's going to set the tone for the other colors. It's going to go ahead and give you that three dimensional or that blending that you need. So that's why I told you to do it this way. Okay. Let's do this first. Let's do a brow bone right quick. I'm going to take this flirt that I purchased from this is flirt that I purchased from um dang, what is that? Oh, Kohl's. We're gonna take a thin brush of some sort and we're going to gently place that on there so you won't place too much. I'm gonna use this, it's like a foundation brush, but I'm gonna go into my product three times. One, two, three, sweep it, tap, and you just wanna go around that brow ball, drag it out. One, two, three, tap, brow ball, drag it out. Just more of a neutral, natural look with this brown bone color. And if you want, I will place it down below. You don't want to put too much. Don't worry about it's crossing with this because we're going to come back and blend that one more time before it's all over. See, that look like a big old blob down my nose. Okay, that's all you need. What we're going to do, we're going to work with our Ruby Kisses colors. This is what I picked up. Don't that girl, you gotta stop. This is what I picked up and I'm loving it. Last color I think I used was, what was that, Mahama Mama? Tango Mama. I used that Tango Mama last time. So this time, let's play with. <sighs> what lipstick I'm gonna put on? Can't put on red if you go with that. Let's go. I want to do that. I want to do that color. That's kind of... No, let's go with that. Something more subtle. I always do blue, so let's do that today. I'm going to take a brush, one of the brushes, to apply that. You're going to go into your product. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm sorry. Set that up. And now we're just going to go right here in the center. We're not going to drag it up. We're going to leave that that base color on our mobile lid right there. And we're just going to go right here on the lid part. One, two, three. Do it again. The 
this is my second application that I just did. Do you see that? And I'm not even applying any additional base color. Oh my goodness. This is my third time. Okay, let's do the second eye. And then tap. So now I'm having fallouts. I should have tapped. I'm going to work that mobile lid very well. Just go across the top of it. We're not going to mess with our crease area because we're going to go back and blend that. One, two, three into our product. One, two, three. Tap. Oh, this is so beautiful. So as you can see the products I have applied. Now, I want to back into that. I'm going to set a brush. And that was part of my blending brush too. Okay. One, two, three. Raise that eye and go back in. Come right, come right here to the center and drag it back out. To center, drag it out. Center, drag it out. Because see, the focal point, point is supposed to be half of that mobile lid. So we don't want to put that color all the way over here. I want you to come into my eyes and look at my focal. And that's blended very well. Come through. Okay, so it's crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna take my mixing bowl. We're gonna highlight. We're gonna dab into that 21. I just want a little bit. About that much. Place that in my bowl. Close that back up. And then I'm going to take number 20. I'm going to go two shades up lighter and come back down two shades darker. So I'm going to go with my number 24. A little spark. Because you don't want it too dark. You want it just right. I'm going to take those two colors right there. I'm going to marinate them real, real good. There we go. Okay, so this is the brush that I normally use when I apply this right here. I use the tail end. I don't make the V shape. I take it and go under. I don't want to use. I want to use this. I don't want to waste it. That's what I had on my brush when I was mixing. I don't want to waste it, honey. Mm -mm. Okay, it's not necessarily that you mix miss your brush, but I am. Let me take a pump. Two pumps. Take your brush. Work it in. Go in as far as possible. You can use a smaller brush. You don't necessarily have to use something this big. Nose, you're gonna drag it down because you want to make sure it really blends.
I just got, damn, it's taking how long time to blend that. Yes, it's gonna take a minute. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush, go into my pressed powder, get a generous amount on this color. Now, I'm gonna marinate it. Today, we're using this color. Place it on my palette and marinate it. Okay, well, now we're gonna set it. Let's move on to our contour. I use this brush on a pinch it at the end. Take my black radiant. I'm gonna find the hollowness of my cheekbone. Pinch it. I only want a line. I'm not gonna overdo it today. And then I'm just gonna make it a slight line. Do you see that? Do the same side, same thing for the other side. Sometimes you see that sometimes it's not gonna come out right. Look at that. I love food on this side. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go back and look at food on this side too. Feel like a food on that side. Okay, that's fine. Next thing we want to go into is our toffee. We're gonna apply that just a little bit above this color. I'm gonna see. I hope you. I hope you can see that right there. It's like one, and then there's another color right here. I'm gonna do this side on this jacked up side. Two, two. Last color to complete my three layer contour will be my CoverGirl Queen collection in the number Q415. We're gonna go slightly on top of that toffee that we just did. Now, whatever we have left on our brush, this is what we're going to do to go around the perimeter of our skin. So you can go around there. Let's fill it in. Okay. Rotate. down whatever stuff on that brush me personally I don't do a whole lot of contour around my nose if I feel like I have something left on my brush bam bam alakazam we're done okay do you see that now we're gonna go ahead and add our brush on top of it Let's go in with a little bit of this bronzer. I'm going to use a thin brush in order to get the precise amount on your cheek. Oh, Lord, my nose. I'm going to go in this pink, a little bit pink at the top. One or two. Can't really see it because we're going to marinate the colors. Okay, next we're going to go in my Clinique Pink Blush. We're going to put that on top where we just placed that. Swerve it around. Tap that. Okay, we're going to swerve it around. One more time on the other side. I did it twice. want a hint of it because you don't want it to overshadow if you're doing a three layer contour you don't want it to overshadow that okay so now because I'm looking at my brows and parts I gotta go back and fix see now we're gonna go ahead and apply our 
press powder on top of this. The reason I did this last because if you make an error or you apply too much contour, blush, or whatever the case may be, you can go into your press powder and calm it down. It's not going to take away from it, so don't worry about that. I'm going to press powder that I've marinated together. Okay, I think I'm going to need some more. Okay. Dab into that. Calm everything down. Bring it on down. Okay, you remember I did my eyes right? Watch this. Just a little bit. We're calming everything down. Just want a slight bit more darkness to it. So next thing I want to do is my highlighting. I'm going to use my same fluffy brush and dust some of that pinkness. Ooh, excuse me. I'm going to dust some of that pinkness off. Go into my eyeshadow real heavy. This, this is the fun part for me. Touch out around the verge of my nose. Now we're going to go around the perimeter of our face. Right, Start right here and sweep that around. Yeah, I hear my baby. Mm -hmm. Like when you smile, you want that light to hit right up in here and go around. Because if you go all up down here, you're taking away from all this right here. Okay. Remember, you want to start right, right about right up in here and go around. I'm not going to put any lining in my eyes today. I don't want to do too, too dramatic. But the first color that I want to go on top of my lashes will be the first black butterfly by L'Oreal. Press, wiggle, pull out. Okay, I got a little mess. Gonna clean it up. Do one base color with this at the bottom. Okay, went to that down a little bit. And now I want to go in and make it really, really pop. I'm going to go in with my what is this? Midnight Black. And it's cold. Gently apply it to the top. Let's 
that's my top. I'm gonna do my bottom on this side. You may get it underneath, but you can go back to clean it up. Or you can go back and put a shadow under your eye to conceal that. Okay, so that's my bottom. Do this side. Oh, y'all know I like drum, okay? And that's it with my eyes. Now, there's nothing on my brush. No product on my brush, but I'd like to still go back and fluff it out. I'm gonna fluff it out still. I'm not gonna use a liner. I'm gonna use this number 256 Cream Cream. Beautiful color. And that is by CoverGirl. This one's something to sell. Not a whole lot of nothing really. So we're gonna go ahead and mist the face one more time since I have completed my look. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. So, I hope you can enjoy the time we'll share together because wearing makeup really does not define who you are as a person. But if you love wearing it like me, baby, like I said, this is for you. Until next time, be blessed.